Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a short review on the Ryobi 40 volt brushless electric chainsaw with a 14 inch bar. Um, I've been in the market for saw for a short while now to do some pruning and cutting firewood. I have a wood burning fireplace and I use a decent amount of wood in the summer for campfires. Uh, traditionally I've used gas saws in the past um, like the steel MS-170, the 270 and 461. But uh, after doing a little bit of research, um, apparently electric saws have gotten quite good. I also like the um, not having all the maintenance that follows along with the gas saw, like mixing fuel, uh, worrying about carbs and spark plugs, and also transporting the saw, not worrying about uh, fuel spilling in my vehicle was a, was a big plus for me. Um, another thing you got to think about when you're buying an electric saw is uh, what your workload's like. Uh, I have a pretty small property and um, I wasn't looking to um, you know, cut firewood and cut a lot of firewood and, and throw it on a trailer and haul it away. So um, I think electric is kind of the way to go for me, um, especially with an occasional user. Um, my initial impressions with the saw, I was really impressed. Um, it cut just as good as um, you know some of those smaller gas saws. I wouldn't compare it to uh, the 270 or the 461 by any means, but um, I was powering through you know, 12 inch logs pretty good. Um, you know, another thing you gotta remember with saws is you gotta make sure you got a sharp chain. Um, make sure everything is is, go is good with the saw before you start using it. Um, you don't blame the saw because you haven't done your due diligence. Um, but yeah, I was really impressed with the saw. I thought it worked really well. Um, the, the only one complaint, which probably everyone guessed, is the battery life. Um, the saw comes with this this charger here, and I was really surprised how long it took to charge that 40 volt battery. Um, it took probably an hour and a half to two hours to charge that thing. So uh, fortunately for me, I was able to fit you know a whole load of wood in my Durango before the battery died. So um, you know, it depends how much cutting you're gonna do. So if if you're already invested in the Ryobi 40 volt platform, I would say this is definitely a saw for you, um, especially if you're an occasional user. Um, but if you're looking to do um, you know more extensive work, I would probably wouldn't go with the saw. But um, you know it really it met my needs, and you know I think for most homeowners it's going to do that as well. So a few things that come with the saw: you get the scabbard, you get the charger, um, you get the bar and the chain. Comes with the four amp hour battery. Also comes with a tiny scrunch that can be stored in the handle. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, make sure if you when you buy it, you got to pick up some bar and chain oil. Uh, it's not very expensive, so it wasn't really a big deal for me. And I picked this unit up at Home Depot for around $160. I think it's on sale right now. So, Robbie has a pretty good warranty. I think it's a 90 day satisfactory guarantee. So if you aren't happy with it, um, shouldn't have an issue with returning it. A um, Couple of things about the saw. Um, what you might think to be a chain break is just more of an aesthetic. I guess it could be considered a, you know, some, a protective guard for debris, but this really has no function. Uh, it does have a wrap around bar so you can turn it sideways while you're cutting. Um, this is the safety mechanism, which I'm not really too fond of. I'm more used to like a uh, palm mechanism where you just lay your hand on there and depress it and then you can pull um, but before you can engage the throttle you have to pull this trigger back uh, the battery does have a power gauge on it other than that there's not really anything too fancy this is for your bar and chain oil um, that's really the only thing you need to worry about there's a little fuel gauge down here so you can look at if you need to refill. On the back side of the saw, 
Um, we have uh, kind of a traditional setup here with two nuts. Um, just unscrew those, this cap pops off, and then you can uh, adjust your chain tension. Um, the chain tensioner is right here, so you unscrew the nuts, and then you can tighten your chain and re-tighten. Re but if your chain falls off or you need to replace your chain for any reason, that's how you take the cover off and you should be good to go. Other than that, there really isn't anything different. Um, I think this is maybe the fifth generation of Robbie's 40 volt saws. Um, I think this is the newest generation. I think the old generation had the battery that inserted right here. I don't really know if that would make any difference to me and the ergonomics of it, but uh, all in all, guys, I'm, I was really impressed with this saw. Uh, it worked really well for me. For 160 bucks, um, it's, it's not too expensive, um, especially if you're already invested in the Ryobi platform um, and you have an, a spare battery, I think you'll really be satisfied. Um, otherwise, plan on, um, plan on uh, not having too extensive of work to do because you're going to be taking that battery out and charging it. And it takes a while. Other than that, please uh, leave a comment. Um, if you have a question, I try to answer it. Um, other than that, thanks.